Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Gary Chain Jumps here, back with Pokemon Soul. So, in the last episode, we defeated our rival Noah, and we also helped him out in the Dragons Den, defeating Lance and Claire. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be taking on the whole entire Elite Four. Now, before you guys leave this video, I want to inform you that this video m is most likely going to be over 25 minutes, just because I'm going to verse the whole entire Elite Four in one episode. So, you know, I'm just going to get started here, so we don't waste any time. But, um. You know, uh, what's called, I'm bursting the whole entire Elite Four in one video so I don't waste any time. And I understand if you guys don't watch this video, but at least leave down, leave a like for the parts that you did see. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, so we're just going to get started here. Welcome to the Pokemon League, allow me to introduce myself, I am Will, I already know who you are, sir. Okay, yes, yeah, Psychic Type Trainers, I have beaten you before. But now it is the rematch with Will. Now I might, I may be speeding up at some points in the battles, like just some points that it starts getting tedious or something. Or, like, some points that I just need to hurry up because of time. But, um, Bulbapedia is down right now. So, um, since it was down, I did a quick test run of going through the entire League 4 and the Champion. And I did defeat it, but I reset it before it saved. So, I know what Pokemons they have. I don't know, I don't know every single moveset, but I know the Pokemons they have and that I can actually, I actually have a chance of beating them. So, you know, um, I'm sorry that I don't have their moveset and stuff for this, um, for this particular episode just because it is the ending part or it's near the ending and i bet you guys would want to know but um i'd probably leave all their bulbapedia um things down when bulbapedia is back up just because only reason i didn't do it is because bulbapedia is down it kind of it was kind of sad but you know i don't really care now okay that hp is going down way too slow yeah hopefully this episode isn't over 20 or over 30 i just wanted to be between 25 to uh, 30 but i don't want to go over um can bring out icebreaker here oh wow i should have brought out um electro that would have been easier ah uh, I, I was just thinking of ice beaming it but i should save some ice beams for the ending um let's okay hope that confused raid does not fuck me over um please okay yes we use ice beam i should have used um electro there but you know it doesn't really matter now but uh that takes him out um Let's see. He's gonna come out with Grumpig now. I'm gonna come out with uh, Chuck because I can just um, Mega Horn the rest of this Pokemon because they're just straight up Psychic Pokemon. And I think he has a Slow Grow at the end. So, you know, yeah, I, he has two more Psychic Pokemon, or straight up Psychic Pokemon. So I can just use Mega Horn. And this is the first time you guys are seeing Mega Horn in action. Mega Horn does a lot of freaking damage, especially since it's super effective. And, you know, it, it, it's just fun. Mega horning everything. <laughs> it, it, I'm still mad that this is the only bug type move it knows and can learn. So you know it's really it's pretty stupid. But you know who cares? We're just gonna mega horn this Gardevoir. <laughs> In the anime, Gardevoir like says its name and it's like Gardevoir. <laughs> like anytime I see a Gardevoir, I I always want to pronounce it that way just because it. I don't know why. It's just like Gardevoir. It's like so dramatic, you know? <laughs> oh, I should stop. But, um, coming out with slow, bro, speed that freaking animation up. I'm just gonna... Alright, guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, mom was screaming, so I just had to cut out that audio part there. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. Okay, that was actually a pretty quick battle. Not going to lie. This this video might be shorter than I thought. I'm not gonna verse the champion in this um episode. That's gonna be next episode. Um alright, so yes. Um quicksand will be a really helpful in this. Uh I guess they're saying the same thing that they said last time, because it seems that they don't remember me. So <laughs> you know, because they're they're just like introducing themselves like I, I know who you are, I've beaten you before, you know, but he's gonna start off with a skunk tank. Or skunk tank. Why did I say skunk? Tank, you know, you gotta get that pronunciation right. I'm just, I'll probably just earthquake like all of his Pokemon because, you know, I don't want to waste any time here. I actually want to beat the Elite Four, and, you know, I'm recording this, uh, when it's almost 10, so, I'm speeding that up. But, um, I'm recording this when it's almost 10, so, you know, it's pretty late, and I still need to get some other stuff done. Um, looks like he's gonna bring out Toxicroak, and. I'm just gonna speed up like all the animations and then the HP is going down really slow just because you know I, I won't speed up any of the moves or anything because um just because uh it, it'll probably get really annoying only reason I speed that up is because 
it, it's just really slow paced, you know, and it'll probably get boring after a while. You know, this, this is why I don't want to buy a actual DS or 3DS capture card, because I feel like I just get so freaking, like, like, just tired of it. I'd be like, I don't want to do this anymore, and just, like, give up, but his Crobat, use Fly, once it comes back down, it's, it's, it's probably, uh, I wish I was faster than the first turn, because then we wouldn't have got hit, but we're just going to use Ice Beam on this freaking Crobat, and you're done. The HP goes really, like the higher level Pokemon they are, no matter if it's super effective or not, it always goes down extremely slow. Just imagine uh, going up against a Blissey and using like close combat against it, and you actually do a one-hit KO. J just imagine how slow the HP would go down. Like, it would go down extremely slow, like, oh my god, I've never done that, I'll probably, like, test it out when I'm bored or something, but, like, oh my god, I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty bad, you know. Alright, I'm just gonna Earthquake this Swalot, and hopefully it goes bye-bye, bye-bye, Swalot, okay, yeah, I don't really, oh, you faggot, but hold, you butthole faggot okay i'm actually gonna switch out here and switch to electro just because oh, this swallow probably knows earthquake uh, i don't know if it does but um switch back out to uh quicksand i just didn't want him to fall asleep just because that would be pretty annoying um okay so you're gonna use that just use earth power first before we use earthquake again just because i don't want him to you know um just keep using four stores so, for Earth Power being super effective, it really doesn't do too much. Like, seriously, Earthquake just ultimately crushes every Earth-type move, or Ground-type move. Seriously, freaking Earthquake crushes every single Ground-type move. Like, there, there's nothing that can stop Earthquake just because Earthquake... Are you kidding me? Are you... Are you freaking kidding me right now? That is... That is so stupid. Alright, paint, split, whatever. Um, earthquake you once again, and you're gone. Alright, so, good thing that's done. Um, I'm gonna bring out Ace for Benmoth, and then just, uh, let's use Drill Peck. And, uh, you should have been gone there. Drill Peck, and you're gone. <laughs> Alright, Muck, I'm gonna bring out Quicksand. Okay, I should stop speeding up. I didn't notice how much I was speeding up. You know, after a while, I just get used to speeding up, and I don't even notice it. So, you know, sorry about that. Um, don't, my mom has to stop Screaming, it's really annoying. But, um, this mock is. Why? Why? <laughs> they always hang on with 1 HP. Whenever I'm recording. Nah, I'm so serious. Whenever I don't record, they never hang on with 1 HP. But whenever I start recording, that's when they start hanging on with 1 HP. It's so annoying. It's just like, why? Why do you do this to me? But, <laughs> oh my god. It, it's just really stupid how stupid they are <laughs> if, if that makes sense but like look right there he got rid of it full completely i don't know what was up with it last time it just like it just makes no sense how sometimes it will do more damage than the other but you know stuff all right so i'm done with you i don't need to worry about you i know the next one is a fighting type so i'm gonna bring out ace up front and i will hyper potion you and you and we can continue on. What's up, Bruno? Alright, I know who you are. You don't have to introduce yourself, sir. Alright. And it's Bruno. So, sorry if the commentary is getting pretty boring. I mean, all we're doing is fighting four people in this episode. Whoa, we're at nine minutes. I'm already on the third Elite Four member. If I wasn't speeding up, that probably would be a lot different. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well, this video is probably going to be around... 16, 14 ish minutes. I'm kinda glad it will be. Wow. I didn't think it would be that, like, short, but, you know, we never know what, uh, we don't know what will happen. I, actually, I'm not gonna speed up for the, uh, for the next two, um, battles unless they're healing up. That, that's it. I, I won't speed up unless they're healing up or, or if I'm healing up or something like that. So, you know, okay, got rid of this Hitmon top. Bye bye. And let's see who's coming out, or who's coming out with next. Some Chomp. I know you have Stone Edge, so. I might as well go out with Chuck and just spam Aerial Ice with him. Stone Age won't do, won't be super effective to me, so, or on Chuck, so, you know, um, 
let's see. I'm just gonna spam Aerial Ace on you. And wait till you die, Machamp. Come on. Uh, I'm pretty sure that'll do half. Oh, that's exactly half damage. That's... Yeah, that That's cool. <laughs> you know, just, just doing exactly half damage is pretty cool. You know. You know where it is. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Alright, so... Why don't you die in a hole, Machamp? Alright, thank you. Um, he's coming out with Hitmonlee. Uh, I think I'll stay out with Chuck and then try to do this. Um, actually, I'll heal up. Yeah, I'll heal up myself first. Oh my god, a nose blaze kick. Oh my god. Alright, I'll heal up Ace and then I know we're dead, so I'm gonna bring out Ace. And then we're just gonna drill peck uh, this freaking hit on me. So let's see how much damage it does. Um, whoa. Alright, wait. Is him on Lee? I, oh, fuck. I don't know who. Damn it. Uh, I think. Yeah, him on Lee is better attacker than. Uh, him. No. Him on top is equal attack and defense. Um, him on Chan is more defense, and then him on Lee is more attack. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got it straight. I don't know why I was just like randomly talking to myself. I was just trying to figure it out in my head because, you know, I just needed to know. So, uh, let's drill peck this Hitmonchan. Okay, our Quick Claw activated there. Like I showed you last episode, I did a Quick, uh, quick Claw to Ace. Oh my god, why do you hang on with that much HP? Aerial Ace you and okay. Yeah, if something like that happens, I'll just speed that up because that is really annoying to watch. Um, oh, damn it, Chuck's gone. Alright, we can go out with Quicksand and just Earthquake him. Because Lucario is fighting Steel. I don't know why they added the Steel. I mean, it, it was pretty stupid to add the Steel. I feel like he should have just been straight up fighting, but I'm not going to complain. Um, Freak. I'll still Earthquake. I have Elixirs. So, hopefully this Earthquake could get rid of this freaking Lucario. Lucario is... I love Lucario. Lucario is just a good freaking fighting type. I'm glad they added him in the 4th gen. I don't know, I feel like 4th gen was when I... No, 3rd gen was probably when I really got into Pokemon, and 4th gen was when I tried to get, get serious about it, and after, once I saw 5th gen come out, that's when I was just like, oh, no, fuck this shit. Man, I hate Pokemon. And uh, once Black and White 2 came out, that's when I started getting back into Pokemon, so, you know, that was like off and on, if you know what I mean. I, I, I bet a lot of people, I know a lot of people have those moments where they're just like, they, they love Pokemon, and then, like, um, for, like, a year or something, they hate it, and then they come back to it, so, you know, uh, that's kind of how I am, but I've been on Pokemon since last, I say, September, or, not last September, or since September of 2012, so, you know, I've been on Pokemon for quite a while now, I'm... Hopefully, continue to continue Pokemon Let's Plays. I hope you guys like them. I don't know if you guys want me to continue just doing Pokemon Let's Plays, or if you guys want me to do a variety of Let's Plays. You guys can comment down below. Um, I'm still going to do... Oh my god. One HP. Are you kidding me? Alright, I'm dead. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys want me to do, like, a certain um, amount or freak... Um, a certain like type of games like RPGs only. Whoa! That was gay. You know what? I'm just gonna earth power you. And you're dead. Cause yeah. Alright, so now I actually have extended the video to as long as I wanted it to be. I probably would have been finished if I started um uh, wow, exactly half of my team is dead. But I probably would have finished if I was um speeding up more in that. Um in that battle, but let's just continue on. Let's just revive all of our Pokemans and then put them up to full health. Alright, and now I'm gonna put out um, Chuck out front and let's continue on through the Elite Four. Now we're gonna burst Karen, and if you remember, she is a dark type. Um, Dark type Elite Four member, and she is the last of the Elite Four members. So you know, um, let's just see what we can do up against her. Now she's gonna start off with Weavile. Obviously, Weavile is extremely freaking fast. I love Weavile. I've never personally used Weavile more than like once or twice, but Weavile is a really 
great Pokemon. Like, if you're playing, like, Platinum, like, just playing through Platinum right now, and you're happening to, happening to go through uh, Snow Point City, pick up a Weavile. I'm so serious. Weavile will just complete your team. I don't know why, but Weavile is just amazing. Unless fighting types come out of nowhere and just wreck, wreck the Weavile. But, you know, other than that, Weavile is amazing. <laughs> Alright, so, um, Icebreaker. Oh, wow, Icebreaker is level 70. I didn't even notice that. But, alright, my commentary is starting to get a really dull, you know. But, uh, let's just Ice Beam this Honchkrow. Hopefully it goes out in one hit. I mean... Uh, wow, I, I am really, <laughs> I am really just focusing, when, whenever I see, like, freaking flying types now, I just think of using Icebreaker and not, I, I just forget about Electro, like, Electro is just, like, out of the picture now, whenever I see a uh, Pokemon like that, but I don't know why, Electro just, I mean, I taught him Thunderbolt, so, I mean, that, that's definitely helpful, and he still has Thunder, and Thunder Wave, and Gyro, I, I don't know, every Steel-type move that any Pokemon has is super weak for some reason, I have no idea why, but it's always weak, alright, let's just use a Close Combat here, I'm not wasting any time, I'm definitely gonna try to Close Combat all the Dark-types I can, just because I don't wanna waste my time on these Pokemons, alright, so, um, Defense and special defense fell, now we're definitely gonna level up. Yep, I knew it. Alright, so that's going on, and Houndoom. So I'm gonna come out with Icebreak and try to surf this freaking Houndoom. Um, because I don't wanna risk killing Chuck, because she still has Dark type Pokemon left. Um, alright, so let's see. Houndoom. Um, I'm gonna surf. Okay, you're using Nasty Plot. F you. Alright, so hopefully Surf can take, or at least two Surfs can take it out. I'm hoping that it could. Cause okay, it looks like one can do the job, so that's cool. That's cool, right, man? That's cool. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Spirit Tomb. Um, I really don't know who to bring out for Spirit Tomb, just because Spirit Tomb has no weakness because it's Ghost Stark. Ghost Stark uh, is a combination of no weaknesses, so no matter what you bring at it, depending if or I know. Okay, so fighting, normal, and poison. Or fighting normal do nothing to it because it's ghost, and then um, poison isn't going to do too much just because of its combination. And then so yeah, I go with it. Go for any other type, and yeah, any other type, unless it's that. So yeah, um, I should have. If uh, he kills me somehow, I'll just bring out freaking um, what's his name? Um, oh, okay, you're a smart cookie. Who? Why would you still have curse on a spirit tomb? Oh my god, spirit tomb is like what? If if once again, if you're playing platinum, pick up a, a spirit tomb. Spirit tomb is amazing since it has no weakness. If you have the right like combinations on it, I'm pretty sure if you have like hypnosis, dream Eat, or a dark pulse and like shadow claw or something, or not shadow claw, um shadow ball, um you would just definitely wreck everyone. Like, that, that's probably, like, the moveset I would use. I'd probably have something different, but, you know. D D D Spirit Tomb. I don't know how to explain it. It's just amazing. Other Pokemon that has no weakness is Sableye, but Sableye is basically useless as hell because of its stats. So, i definitely go with Spirit Tomb. Um, but Sableye is a third-gen Pokemon, so, you know. Alright, so, now we can go straight on to the champion. I'm surprised that this video wasn't 25-ish minutes. I was hoping it would, but uh, at the same time, I was hoping that it wouldn't. Uh, hoping that it wasn't, but, um, I'm glad that I can actually end- Whoa, I didn't lose any Pokemon that round. Alright, whatever. Um, I know- Alright, so I'm gonna start off with Icebreaker for the next match, so I guess I'll see you guys next episode where we reverse, um, the Pokemon League Champion Lance once again. Peace out, guys.